a video came out from H3H3, Ethan Klein. We've covered uh, Ethan before, uh, in mostly positive light. Yes. Uh, he, he did the good work uh, to, to help uncover the fucking asshole Counter-Strike fucking CSGO skin uh, fucking underground mafia asshole scam fucks. Uh, we, we both uh, charred the asses of the... Uh the pranksters uh as well the pranksters and then i think there was also the fupa thing where the the defense the legal defense fund yeah he helped get going and there could have been one other one um that's come up where ethan has done a good job uh highlighting some of these issues uh maybe the maybe um the freaking uh people that try to copyright the genre of video the react videos the fine, the fine oh brothers. yeah i think he, he might have done something for too. that too so he's been around so, but but this was a misfire. We'll just say from H three H three. So what definitely a uh, case of <clears throat> shooting first and act, asking questions later backfiring. So what happened was there was a report from you know the Wall Street Journal, uh, and the Wall Street Journal has has been in the news because of the PewDiePie situation. Right. And they shed a light on 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 all the the litany of, of jokes and sort of questionable content that was at the time kid-friendly advertising believe it or not and so people are already on this wall street journal being bad guys sort of syndrome before all this happened but then wall street journal started to go around and started looking at questionable videos and seeing if advertisers uh, ads were running on them and they found one with a, a very uh negative title i'll just say uh i feel like we're on a carousel here <laughs> a carousel of topics yeah so they found one, a video that shouldn't have had a Coca-Cola ad being placed on it. It was a Coke ad. So from that, the timing's a little bit skewed about what happened where. But soon, that was like right before these advertisers started pulling out on Moss, saying we're gonna, we're just, this, we don't trust what's going on uh, with YouTube now. So people blamed the Wall Street Journal for sort of starting this or helping to fan the flames of these advertisers being concerned because, you know. They, you know, they, hey, they ran a story. Coke finds out. Coke's probably like, what the hell's going on? So what Ethan H3H3 then looked into was the actual video itself. And he contacted the person who ran it. He said, hey, are you running ads on, are ads running on this video? Are you making money off this video? And the person running the YouTube channel looked at his analytics, sent a screenshot and said, oh, no, I haven't made, you know, money on this video since last year. I've made nothing. So from that bit of information... H3H3 then comes out and said the Wall Street Journal fabricated the entire story. No, fabricated the screenshot. Oh, sure. Fabricated the screenshot, created a screenshot. Well, therefore, you'd be fabricating a story. Well, but, sure. <laughs> but but what, at first, the internet went nuts. Twitter went nuts. YouTubers, uh, people I like, like Review Tech USA... Uh, I saw tweets from people like Peanut Butter Gamer saying, you have, to lot, you have a lot to answer for Wall Street Journal and the guy who wrote the article. You have a lot to answer for. This is fucking who bullshit. Who also co-wrote the PewDiePie article. This is fucking bullshit. I hope Google sues you. This is ridiculous. Fucking mob. Because now they, they see this war. They see a war between the, the quote-unquote mainstream media and the YouTubers and their button heads for that same dollar. And I'll tell you in a second why that's a dumb argument. But now, th that's what happened. What's interesting is that Ethan uploaded an apology hours later, but the the shot was already fired. And oh, the, 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 the blood was in the water. for Especially because it being the Wall Street Journal and a YouTube story. Now, YouTube versus Wall Street Journal at this point was, was too hot. Sure. So, why did he upload that uh, the apology? I'm asking you, Ian. I'll tell you why, Ian. He uploaded <laughs> it. Are you out of it? Because it turns out on that video, the ad the advertising was running. Oh, still. because the advertising was running still because it had been claimed by the person uh, that the the the, the um, rapper Chief Keef, the the network that he's under, which actually I believe is the network that Ethan is under. So the money was being uh, siphoned to um, the the network and the. Um, the the artist so what happens when a co when a copyright claim comes in the video stays up money will still be made ads will still run but just not to the person who uploaded the video right so i have like i, I think I like one of my early flea Mario madness videos for example i have a super mario brothers 2 song in the back end of it nintendo right. claimed that video years ago evil nintendo so ads will still run 
I don't get the money. When I go into analytics, I don't see any money being made, but someone's making money. It's the big Nintendo dog making the money. Yeah. On the back of small YouTuber Pat. So other people can still be making money even though the uploader is not, and that's, I suppose, in the heat of a moment that is something that is forgotten. So the the accusation that they created screenshots is dangerous. Uh, it could be really devastating to a journalist's career. Not just from the people uh, you know, going after the guy personally. I'm sure he probably got some death threats on Twitter. He definitely did. But it's dangerous because you're accusing this, this, this heralded news site of creating a story where they, they'd have nothing to gain if they made it up. They'd have nothing to gain but everything to lose. Why would the Wall Street Journal make that shit up? What would be the possible benefit to make you to make you to make the advertisers feel unsteady or not sure about YouTube? Even if that happened, that money wasn't going to get siphoned back to the Wall Street Journal or the quote unquote mainstream media because there are entirely different audiences watching YouTube videos and reading sites like the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal. Different demographics, different uh, makeup, probably economically by large and especially by age. Right. So it's not a zero sum game when it comes to advertising. And I think that's what these YouTubers are missing out on when they try to create in their head this sort of war. Which is sexy as fuck to say. We're in a war. Yeah. Let's let's grab my cosplay plastic sword and and Viking helmet. I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> the point is this though. It's really it's really a romantic notion to get to beat the drums of war to say it's them against us when there's really no war. war. First of all, there's no battlefield to actually wage it on. And it's not like the Wall Street Journal is going to put out a snarky five-minute response saying, fuck you guys. You know, like, it's not, it's totally, it's a totally different medium. If you, if you leave out the PewDiePie thing, all, all this is, is, it, it's, this is not an attack on YouTube. This is, this is a Wall Street Journal article about the evolution of advertising and how... It's a totally legit story. Yeah, about how Google needs to... Well, like we, we just talked about, how Google needs to take action about how ads are handled and how they're going to change it. It it, it It's only because YouTube was still so hot over the PewDiePie thing that tempers flared and, like I said, uh, shots were fired before, I think... Uh, total investigation was done. Um, I, I, I read something somewhere, and, and I, I, I do kind of agree with this, that uh, Ethan Klein did do some, some research here uh, that could lead to some, clusion, some conclusions, but it wasn't thorough, and I think what people, what people tend to do in these instances is forget that perhaps the other people have done their research as yeah. well. Do you honestly think Coca-Cola would pull advertising based upon a Wall Street Journal story? You know what I mean? Like, you don't think they would have done their due diligence themselves talking to Google and being like, is this ad, is this ad actually running on here or what's going on? When these, when these, when these tons of companies, dozens and dozens of companies pull their ads, I'm not sure if all of them are back yet, you don't think they looked into it themselves? You don't think they have a Google rep to talk to to really talk about okay what's going on here? They're not gonna they're not looking for YouTubers to do do exposés on it. Well, and, and and whatever you think on the PewDiePie thing, this reporter and now his name is uh, slipping my mind. But after the fallout from that, you would also think that perhaps he is um, also doing more due diligence on the reporting of something like Jack this. Jack Nikas is the report. Nikas. Okay, yeah, he I, got, I was going to say Nicole. I, I saw Nikas. him get hate. The problem when, when, when this stuff happens, and with retractions in general, the first story always gets like 10 times the amount of views and eyes versus the retraction. Sure. This was this this accusation was fake news. It was absolutely fake news. It was dead sure that, oh, this is what's going on. You mm -hmm. know, like, uh, I, I, Wall Street Journal, I'm not saying they should, they could send lawyers after someone for, for saying that you made up a story. 
you made up screenshots. I hope they don't do that, but that's how serious that video was and how much heat they got for for someone saying things that weren't true. This is their response uh, to all the hubbleabula, hubbleabula, hullabula, hullabula. The Wall Street Journal stands by its March 24th report that major brand advertisers were running alongside objectionable videos on YouTube. Any claim that the related screenshots or any other reporting was in any way fabricated or doctored is outrageous and false. The screenshots related to the article, uh, which represent only some of those found, were captured on March 23rd and March 24th. And it goes on from there. Uh, the journal is proud of its reporting and the high standards it brings to its journalism. We go to considerable lengths to ensure its accuracy and fairness, and that is why we are among the most trusted source of news in the world. Again, this is a conspiracy theory that's totally, at this point, false. In order for these conspiracies to be true, especially in this case, you'd have to have not just the author make it up, the editor would have to be on in on it to approve it as well, and then who knows who else at the Wall Street Journal. Again, for what possible gain to make up, you know, quote-unquote fake news that actually was true. Yeah. So, as my pal, Norm the Gaming Historian, said on Twitter eloquently, when you hear hoofsteps, assume it's a horse before a zebra. Yes. That is a very good quote. <laughs> <laughs> so, from here, I think, you, it's again, it's always sexy to say there's a war going on. Uh, YouTube is dead. Fucking relax. Be an adult. And I'll just say this as to close it, since you look like you're in pain from listening to me. It's not from listening to you. It's there's a danger to me personally when uh, and it's not it's not a, a bitterness it's, or jealousy. People say it is, but I don't have the voice of other YouTubers that get th these headlines for now the wrong reasons. When advertisers and people in the mainstream now see the YouTubers coming, becoming more and more in the mainstream for really bad reasons, it, it's bad for everyone. So when you're going to accuse a, a major news organization, you better have your ducks in a fucking row before you do that. Because you only represent yourself, but people are going to think you represent all of us, and you don't. Yeah. You don't represent Ian, me... Or other people I know when you do shit that turns that goes south in a, in a jiffy. In a jiffy. In a jiffy? <laughs> in a Are we jiffy. sponsored by Jiffy? No, Jiffy's jiffy crap like... peanut butter. There's so much sugar in that shit. I only do all natural peanut butter at this point. Uh, was it Ann Scudders? Annie Scudders? Is that the one? What's her name? I don't know. Scudders is a really weird last name. 